Do you know when InShot says, file fail to convert? Yo, it gives me anxiety, but worry not, Nate. I need you to pay attention because I have five solutions that are going to help you get rid of that problem, okay? Dumelan guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Daddy of a Girl. If you're new, I am Becca. Please do not forget to join the family by subscribing to the channel. Like this video and please do not skip the ads okay you probably clicked on this video because you want a solution to this problem over here do you know when InShot says file fail to convert yo it gives me anxiety it gives me but worry not ne. i need you to pay attention because i have five solutions that are going to help you get rid of that problem okay so yeah please do not forget to like comment and share this video with a friend or a family member or someone that you feel like they might learn a thing or two from this problem or maybe they've experienced it before so yeah let's get into the five solutions that i have for you guys Number one is for you to shorten the clips of your videos, okay? So what you're going to do is that you already shot a video. You already recorded your vlog or your sit-down video. You already imported the video from your phone into your InShot editing software. And then what you need to do is to shorten the clips by a few seconds, either in the beginning or the end. Then after that, you need to save the clip. And then you need to exit your app and refresh in your phone. And then open it again and then try exporting. If that does not work, then we're going to go to to solution number two now solution number two is for people who are using iphones ios because i'm not sure if android does allow for you to do this so on ios on iphone you are able to offload an app and then reinstall it so what you're going to do is that you're going to close your app offload the app restart your phone reinstall the app and then try exporting the video again if that does not work then we're going to go to what solution number three solution number three is quite straight it Solution number three is a very straightforward one. It might mean that you do not have enough storage on your phone. So what you need to do is that you need to delete a, a few things, move a few things around, make some storage so that you can try exporting the video that you were editing. Because you find out that your phone does not have enough storage, especially for us who are using iOS. I have experienced that a couple of times and then I deleted some of the apps or uploaded them and then I was able to export the video and then upload it on YouTube or whichever platform that I'll be editing for and then reinstall the apps that were on my phone. So sometimes it's just a matter of your phone not having enough memory. You're probably going to need to delete all of those pictures or all of those videos that you are procrastinating to edit. Okay. You know you have a dozen of videos on your phone that you have not edited. You're like, oh no, I'm waiting for the right time to post. Yeah. My sister, my bro, when is the right time? When is the right time? You must edit and post those videos, oh, please, I beg. Solution number four is that you would have to reduce the quality of your video, the quality that you will be exporting the video in, right? So usually it recommends 1080p. It recommends that you export the video in 1080p. So you can try exporting the video in 720p, 480, is it 480 or 460p? And then 360p and then the lowest being 240p so you'll probably need to reduce the resolution of your video so that you can export it remember the higher the resolution the more storage space the video is going to take on your phone so try to reduce the resolution of the video and then try saving it if that does not work then i am going to give you guys the solution which is one that i used for one of my vlogs i'm gonna put up the vlogs somewhere here i'm not sure if you guys saw the difference of the quality of that video because it was not not the same as the others this is what i did which was the last thing that i resorted to the last time i faced this type of problem so what i did was that i opened the inshot app i was done editing my vlog right i opened the inshot app and then i screen recorded my own edited video hear me correctly i screen recorded my own edited video then when i'm done i took all those long clips the vlog i think it was for 30 minutes so i recorded seven minutes five minutes ten minutes then i took all of those clips imported them again on InShot, and then shortened them and then exported them so now you need to keep in mind that the minute you screen record that video it's going to lose the original quality because screen record for ios it records on the resolution near 780p 
So you need to keep in mind that it's going to lose the quality. So I screen recorded my vlog, the already edited vlog, and then imported those clips that I screen recorded back into the app and then edited the Shotanyana clips so that I can get rid of the unnecessary clips that shows that I recorded, I stopped the video, I did what, what so and so forth. So after doing that, I exported the video in 1080p, which was not necessary if you look at it because already it was recorded at 780p. So what I had to do was to export the video in 780p. But still, it, it doesn't really make a difference. I exported the video in 1080p and the video took way less storage than it originally did. And that way I was able to upload the video on YouTube. So that is the last solution that I have for you guys. And that one, just know that it's going to kill the quality of your video. That one, you do it when you do not have a choice. You are like, mm, I need to get this video up come rain or sunshine which is what i was facing at the end of the day which is why i resorted to screen recording the edited video and then uploading it on youtube so yeah guys that brings us to the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any other editing problems or you have a video suggestions that has to do with uploading things on youtube editing whether it be it any video suggestion leave it in the comment section i will try to help you guys where i can because i think i have reached you know a certain level when it comes to editing on youtube and also uploading so yeah i want to help you guys i want to help you guys so that we can be on the same level so that we can face this youtube journey together okay i don't want to grow alone i want to grow with you guys so yeah if you enjoyed this vlog if you enjoyed this video please make sure to like it share with a friend that you feel like this might solve their problems don't forget to not skip the ads okay so that we can make money on this channel right so yeah guys i will see you guys on my next vlog or a sit down video which i'm probably gonna do a lot of because i enjoy shooting this one okay this is me coming up to you and saying i am open to shooting sit down videos prepare to get sick of me <laughs> go chick can go ooh, ooh, ooh. you on the sky ah, ah, ah. go chicken go ooh, ooh, ooh. you on the sky ah, ah. chicken attack <laughs> <laughs> I know that was so random right this song is in my head my colleague ruined me okay because he's the one who introduced me to the song I should stop listening to the things that he recommends. When he next time when he says, Becca, come listen to this thing, I'm gonna say no. Because now the song is making me go mad. Literally.